Hey everyone, Eric from Decasode TV here. I recently bought both the Spigen Neo Hybrid and the Spigen Slim Armor cases for the Galaxy Note 4 and decided to do a video review of them. I was originally going to review both of them in a single video, but I quickly realized that that would become an excessively long video. So I decided to break it up into two videos. Then, if you guys want me to, I can do a third video where I compare them. This review is going to be on the Neo Hybrid with the metal slate colored frame. Alright, let's start with the boxes they come in. Pretty simple here. You've got your case names here as well as the authenticity sticker here. Opening the box we get a protective clear plastic shell over the case, an authenticity card, and a note about how you need to press lightly when using the heart rate monitor. More on that later. Also, no screen protector comes with these cases, at least not if you buy them from Amazon like I did, but that's to be expected because both cases together cost me less than $30 shipped. The Neo Hybrid case is made out of two parts, a hard plastic ring and a hard rubber body, also known as TPU. TPU stands for thermoplastic polyurethane and is a combination of hard plastic and soft silicone. One of the major benefits of this material is that it doesn't collect pocket lint. The rubber body and the hard plastic ring separate pretty easily, but I recommend keeping them together when putting the case on your phone because it's faster that way. Speaking of putting the case on, I found that it was easiest to slide the bottom in first, then snap the top corners in one at a time. Then, to take it off, push out one corner at a time. I found that the plastic ring was rather flexible both when I squeezed it as well as when I twisted it. I didn't feel too worried about breaking the ring when I did this, so that's a good sign to me that it's pretty durable. Plus. Let's be honest, the ring will never see that kind of stress once it's on the phone. The hard rubber is just that, hard. Much harder and stiffer than the rubber Sadio uses on their cases. That's because Sadio just uses silicone without the hard plastic component. If I squeeze a Neo Hybrid rubber, it just creases and folds. But if I squeeze a Sadio rubber, the entire thing mushes in my hand. Another thing to point out is that the hard rubber is textured to provide a better grip as well as some style. You will occasionally get tiny specks of dirt stuck in the textured back, but it wipes off with a dry finger pretty easily. Moving on to the cutouts, the S Pen cutout is plenty large enough to not have any issues getting the stylus out or back in. The USB cutout has ample space to use larger third-party connectors without an issue. All three mic cutouts along with the camera, flash, heart rate monitor, and IR blaster cutouts are all appropriately located. Something important to know about the heart rate monitor cutout is that it does make it more difficult to use the sensor, but I do have some tips to make that a little easier. It helps if you press your finger lightly into the upper right corner of the cutout. Push just hard enough so that your skin touches the glass. You don't have to touch the glass, but I found that I get the best results by doing it that way. Regardless, the weight of the foam pressing down your finger should be enough force. You'll also want to arc your finger instead of laying it flat on the back of the phone. The best orientation may be slightly different for you depending on your finger size. Looking back at the camera lens cutout, you'll be happy to know that the camera lens sits recessed and protected by the case. The speaker cutout literally matches the speaker grill perfectly and does not distort the audio in any way. The headphone cutout has been expanded to allow for a larger range of 3.5mm jacks, but you'll still have trouble getting very large jacks to fit. You can use the dimensions on the screen to figure out if your jack will fit. The buttons are extremely responsive and feel like they are the native hardware buttons with a very clicky response. These are metallized polycarbonate buttons, which is a fancy way of saying that they are made out of a tough plastic that's coated with real metal. So while the buttons aren't completely made out of metal, they sure do feel like they are. Nice touch, Spigen. On the front, we can see that the rubber comes up ever so slightly over the screen. This allows you to lay the phone face down without the screen ever touching the surface. It will also help with minor face down drops, but since it's a very thin layer of rubber, you shouldn't expect it to go toe to toe with an OtterBox Defender in a face down drop test. As far as screen protectors go, you shouldn't have any issue with fitting basic screen protectors like the Spigen Crystal Clear screen protector. I don't have a tempered glass protector to try, but I did use a few cards to simulate tempered glass. Based on the cards, it looks like tempered glass might be stretching it with this case. Literally. But, to be fair, with a little bit of finesse you can probably get it to fit just fine. Just don't expect to be taking the case on and off frequently if you do have a tempered glass protector on there. Now, I should also mention that since the Note 4 has curved glass on the edges, there will be many glass screen protectors that don't stretch all the way to the ends of the screen so the Neo Hybrid wouldn't interfere with those types of screen protectors at all. Lastly, the thin layer of rubber on the top is far enough to the edges of the phone that it won't interfere with off-screen gestures like the reduced screen size gesture. I've used this case for a few days so far and I've really enjoyed it. It just feels and looks very premium. Maybe not as premium as the Bare Note 4, but definitely a step in the right direction. As far as durability goes, I haven't noticed any scuffs yet, 
but it's barely been a week. Only time will tell how this case holds up after heavy use. In terms of protection, where 10 is an Otterbox defender and 1 is no case at all, I give the Spigen Neo Hybrid a solid 7. It's enough protection to feel safe for small drops off your lap getting out of the car or while taking it out of your pocket, but not enough to feel fully confident dropping it from head height while making a call. That's not to say that it won't protect your phone from that type of drop, just that you likely wouldn't be able to do that repeatedly without causing some damage to the phone. I will say this though, compared to cases that are the same size, the Neo Hybrid is easily one of the toughest, while at the same time being one of the best looking. Not to mention the awesome price point of $19 on Amazon. I'd give this case a style rating, but that really comes down to personal preference. So I set up a poll on my TechAsode Google Plus page where you can give the style a rating. Click the link in the description to vote. Now to answer one of the most important questions. How much bulk will this case add to your already large and in charge Note 4? To answer that question, I put together a printout that you can download to see exactly how big not only the Neo Hybrid is, but also the Slim Armor. You'll be able to cut out the case you're considering, tape it to your existing phone, and be able to figure out if these cases are too big or just right for your hands. I've also included an outline of the Note 4 for those of you who haven't decided if you want to jump to a larger phone for your next upgrade. As a bonus, I've also included an outline of the Galaxy S3, because based on a lot of comments from my other Note 4 videos, it looks like a lot of you are considering going from the S3 to the Note 4. And in case you were wondering, Speakin doesn't have official case dimensions listed online, at least not at the moment, so I measured the cases myself using digital calipers. As you can see here, I've drawn up multiple comparisons. There's all the phones and cases centered, everything left justified, a centered side view of all the phones and cases, as well as a left justified side view. Hopefully this will give you a very clear picture of the real life sizes of these cases. The download link for these drawings will be in the description. While you're downloading the drawings, let's talk about weight. The Neo Hybrid weighs in at 48.664 grams, while the Slim Armor comes in a little heavier at 56.725 grams. In terms of the Note 4, which is spec'd at 176 grams, you'll be making the phone about 28% heavier with the Neo Hybrid, or about 32% heavier with the Slim Armor. Let's be honest here though, most people have no idea how heavy that actually is. We just hear a number and say, Okay, that's more than the last number, so the lighter one will be easier to hold for longer, right? Not necessarily. Sometimes the weight difference is indistinguishable when holding two things in your hand. Because of that, I want to give you guys a way to feel the weight of the cases without having to buy them. What better way to do that than with everyday household items, pencils and pens? Here's how. I weighed both a standard number two pencil and a standard size pen. The pencil comes in at 4.555 grams, and the pen comes in at 5.113 grams. Since the Neo Hybrid weighs about 48 grams, you'll need roughly 10.5 pencils or 9.5 pens to equal that weight. Obviously, breaking a pen in half is a bad idea, so just use either 9 or 10 pens to get an idea of the weight. If I lost you with all the numbers, just know this. Pick up 10.5 pencils or 9 pens at the same time to feel how much the Neo Hybrid weighs. Since the Slim Armor weighs about 57 grams, You'll need 12 and a half number two pencils or 11 pens to see how much that case weighs. You can also tape them side by side to better simulate the shape of the case. One more thing, pencils with designs on them weigh significantly more than standard number two pencils. So use one or two less pencils if you have pencils with designs on them. That's it for the Spigen Neo Hybrid case review. You can check out my Spigen Slim Armor case review by clicking the link in the video or the link in the description. That video isn't posted just yet, so if the link isn't clickable, you can check out my other Note 4 videos here while you wait. This was my first case review and I want to know what you guys thought about it. Did I answer all of your questions or did I miss something you were curious about? Either way, let me know in the comments below. Also, I'm working on an entire series on literally everything about the Note 4. So let me know if you have any specific video requests or questions about the Note 4. And don't forget to subscribe to get notified right when I upload those videos. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.